Hi everyone, my name's Lisa, for those of you that might not know. Uh, so, I have just returned home from the Taylor Swift concert. We've been gone for a few days, and <clears throat> so I'm a little bit of a mess, but I've had a message uh, to share here, so I'm just going to get started with it. Um, so, the first thing I wanted to talk about was willingness and free will okay um you know we are created and god gives us free will to make these choices even along our spiritual path you know you can make different choices um on whether or not you actually want to step into the role that you're being guided to or not you can always choose another path you know um neither either option is not um like both options are going to be what's best for you so whatever you choose is always going to be what's best for you um so but the way that i was i received the message was they showed me my son and to use him as an example you know, my son has his own story to share and um, one day he will and but they wanted me to touch base on just my position you know in his in his story so my son has had a heck of a life you know he's 20 years old and you know a lot has really uh he's been going through a lot of transformation, major transformation, really stepping into, um, being the man that he was born to be. And I'm extremely proud of him. And, but you know, there was a time where, um, my, my son struggled with different, different things and it's not my place to express, you know, everything that my son has had to deal with, but one thing that I can say is that I did share my lessons with my son and I, I continue to share my lessons and what I've learned from the different choices that I've made, you know, sometimes when I've made these choices and things didn't end up the way I wanted and I've shared the experiences of when things did end up the way that I wanted. And, you know, I always talk to both of my children about your mindset because I'm a firm believer that, um, we are the creator of our own realities and what that really means. It's not like you're like making your own little bubble and you're living in it or anything like that. It's like, whatever you see, however you're perceiving, um, life, or whatever's happening to you and who you meet, like that's your reality. Like that's what you're perceiving. And what I've come to understand is for me that um, I'm in control of my emotions, like how I feel. Nobody, it's nobody else's fault why I might feel a certain way or be in any kind of position. Um, with this free will that we are given, you know, it's choice. We have our freedom of choice to do whatever we want. You know, we just have to be willing to live with the consequences. So, you know, um, getting back to the example they showed me of my son, um, for a for at first my son um implemented implemented I, I don't know implemented the um some of the things like he was struggling with a certain issue and i said well this is what i did and this allowed me to um you know get control over uh those kinds of things going on in my life and you know i watched my son take control over that and be released from his own burdens of that okay that issue for him and it's all really about your mindset okay and that's what i've passed on to both my children you know just to 
it's like just firmly expressing that no is it going to be easy no you know are you going to have to work at it every single day yes are people going to say like that's bullshit and you can't do that yes that's why you don't tell everybody you know <laughs> like you just do it on your own and know that this is what you're doing and with enough time and effort um you can implement changes in your life that are beyond anything that you ever thought that you could do or even beyond what doctors said that you could do so um and i'm living proof and my son is too okay um and my daughter as well so um but i couldn't then like as he got older there were other things you know that happened and you know i could see how much he was struggling and i wanted to help so bad but it's like i've also learned that we do all have our own free will so we have that power of choice and he is his own entity his own soul his own being i do not own him you know i may be his mother but his life is his life. His choices are his choices. He's the one that has to live with the consequences of his choices. And, you know, all I did was continue to love him where he was at. And I, cause I always knew that one day it would all click and he would be ready. But, you know, just like me, because I had to learn this for myself, like, I, I never did anything because somebody told me to do it, you know? Um, that's why I'm so grateful for uh, the teachers that I've had in my life because, um, especially my Maureen that I talk about, because she never told me what to do. She shared her experience and she passed that on to me. Like she never was trying to control my life. And um, that that's where things can have a lot of issues. That's like, when I, how do I feel when I, when I feel controlled? I rebelled. I did the freaking opposite just because, you know? Um, even if it wasn't what I wanted to do, just because somebody said I couldn't or just because somebody said, this is the only way you can do it, like I would just rebel and show, you know, I'd show them, you know? So just like releasing this and allowing him to come to his own realization or just like his own readiness. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that word. Um, his own readiness. And, um, just watching him transform this last year is just beyond amazing. And I'm not taking credit for it because that has nothing to do with me. That's everything to do with his own mindset and his own discipline, his own willingness to step up at the step up to the plate of his life and fucking start swinging, you know. Um, so there's something connected, like like there's nobody else's. It's nobody else's fault where you're at. Okay, I feel like that's kind of the message, you know, and just knowing that you know, snap your finger and your whole freaking life changes, you know, a de with a decision, with a decision that, yes, I want to live like, yes, I want to live. So it's like, so what do I got to do to live? You know, what, what, what does that mean to you? Cause it means something different for everyone, but it's just like making a decision and then putting the action behind, behind it. Um, willing willingness and understanding the power behind your choices and um just the power that you have you know i'm a firm believer that the universe god whatever you want to call it resides within us we are the creator like we are magical we were created to be magical. Um, so it's just some sort of awareness with that, you know? 
I'm hearing the readiness to step forward. So yeah, I'm hearing thinking of a master plan. Maybe write it out first, you know, just write down like what you have to do step by step by step by step and just start doing them one by one and crossing them off the list. Don't look at how long the list is. Just look at them one at a time and just do it that way if you want. I don't know. This is just the message that I've been guided to share with you. I've also been um, guided to do a Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. So um, I'm going to close this little message out and um, get on that. So look for that a little bit later on tonight. And I love you guys. And I hope that you're having an amazing Friday. Bye.